Today we will review the sixth grade math lesson 2.3. This lesson will cover how to find and apply the least common multiple and the greatest common factor. Here is your I can statement. I can find and use the GCF or LCM to solve problems and explain it to others. Let's review some vocabulary. So the vocabulary that we have for today's lesson, we have least common multiples, and we refer that in math to LCM. What we need to understand about multiples, so if it ends in the M, we know it's multiples. Right here, a multiple. So what is a multiple? A multiple we have to think of as skip counting or your multiplication facts. So up here, they give you an example of multiples of three, and then again, multiples of four. So let's review that really quick. So if you notice, when we skip count, we always have to start with that multiple, okay? So if we're doing multiples of three, it's three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, and so on. Multiples of four, always remember you have to start with four. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, etc. The second vocabulary word for today's lesson is greatest common factor. In math, we refer to that as GCF. The F stands for factors. Well, what's a factor? So let's review that really quick. What is a factor? And then here we have factors of 12 for the example and factors of 16. So let's talk about that really quick. So a common factor, if we're thinking of factors, is what number can you divide exactly? into that. Meaning exactly with no remainders, or you can think of it as what number times what number equals 12, for example, here. So we know that one times 12 is 12. Right? We know that 2 times 6 is 12, and we know that 3 times 4 is 12. So the common factors for 12, we want to list them in order now that we write them out, is 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. Over here we have factors of 16. So what times what is 16? Well, 1 times 16 is 16, and 4 times 4 is 16, and 2 times 8 is 16. Then you want to list your factors in order. 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. That's what factors and multiples are. So that's your vocabulary for today. I encourage you to stop this video and complete the problems on your own first and then go back and review it. These will be homework problems on page 49 in your book, similar to those if you want to refer to that. Let's start off with this word problem here and look at our word problem. Hot dogs are sold in packages of 10 and hot dog buns are sold in packages of eight. Okay, so those are the two things we are looking at here. We are looking at hot dogs in packages of 10, and we are looking at hot dog buns in packages of eight. What is the fewest? 
So when you're looking at word problems like here, when you see the word fewest or least or lowest, then you know that we are talking about least common multiple to solve this problem. So look for that those clues in your word problems. What is the fewest number of packages of each that could be bought in order to have the same number of hot dogs and buns? So step one is list the multiples of eight and 10. So right here we have multiples of eight. So remember that we're dealing with the multiples of eight are going to be the hot dog buns. And the multiples of 10 will be the hot dogs themselves. If we're looking at the numbers, so if multiples of 8 is 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, and so on. Multiples of 10 are 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Those are easy. What is the least number they have in common? So we want to look at these lists, and then we notice here that 40 is the least common multiple. So the least common multiple of 8 and 10 is 40. So we, that's step two, we write that down. Step three is determine how many packages of each would you buy? Again, we're looking at hot dogs and hot dog buns. So the hot dogs are in packages of eight. I mean, hot dogs are in packages of 10, I'm sorry. So here's your hot dogs, and then here's your hot dog buns. So we know that the LCM is 40, so we take the 40 here and we divide it by 10 because hot dogs are sold in packages of 10. So I know that I need to buy four packages of hot dogs. For hot dog buns, I take the LCM of 40, I divide it by eight because there's eight packages of hot in each hot dog bun package, and then I know I would need to order five. So this is where they're getting the information for the answer here. Okay, let's go on to the next problem. A florist has 49 red roses and 63 white roses. The florist wants to put an equal number of red roses in each center, red roses in each centerpiece, along with an equal number of white roses in each using all the flowers. What is the greatest So when they're saying greatest in this word problem, we know that we are gonna be doing the greatest common factor. And we know that we're comparing then red roses and white roses, those are the two things. So we have white roses here, and we have 49 red roses here, okay. Those are the quantities we're working with. Let's do step one. Step one, we need to list the factors of 49 and 63. Remember when we're talking about factors, we're saying what numbers can go into it evenly. So I always start with saying, well, I know one times 49 Always start with one and then think of other multiplication factors that go in evenly. And then I have seven times seven. For 63, I have one times 63. And then I have three times 21 and seven times nine. Step two, I need to list the factors in order. So 49, if I'm going to list the factors in order, it's 1, 7, and 49. And for 63, if I'm going to list the factors in order, I look up here and I do 1, 3, 7, 9, 21, and 63. Then I need to look at my list and we need to say what number... occurs... In both lists. 
and I want to find the greatest number that occurs in both lists, not just any number. So I know in this example, seven is the greatest number that include that is included in both lists. So then therefore I know that the GCF, the greatest common factor is seven. But then I need to answer the question. So I have to go back and read the question in the word problem. So I make sure that I get this problem right because it's asking me two questions. It's asking me, What's the greater number of centerpieces and how many of each flower will it have? So I know that for D, I need to know it will have seven centerpieces is what I can make. But then it asks me, and here, how many of each flower will each centerpiece have? So I have to go back up here and I see right here it states in the problem there's 49 red roses. And then I know based on I did the number 7 here, so I'm going to pick 7 times 7. Now for the white roses, I still need to find the GCF of 7, but I know that I did 7 times 9 for the white roses. So I know in each centerpiece, there will be seven red roses and there will be nine white roses in each. All right, now it just asks you here to find the GCF and LCM for the number pairs. Remember when you're finding this that the LCM is multiples or your multiplication facts and GCF are factors. So let's do question two first. I'm gonna find the LCM and the GCF. And my pair of numbers are going to be 16 and 24. So the LCM is means I skip count. So I always try to do that one first. I'm skipped counting by 16, but I always want to start with that number. 16, 32, 48, 64. I always try to write down about four or five numbers to see if they match. And then 24, and then 24 times two is 48. 24 times three is 72. And then you go back and look at the lists. If I go back and look at my lists, what number do they both have in common that is the least, the smallest one? That would be 48. So the least common factor of 16 and 24 is 48. Now let's do the greatest common factor of 16 and 24. On the side here, I wanna write these numbers down and I wanna list the multiplication facts. Always start with one. That's the easiest, okay? What else goes into 16 evenly? Oh, two times eight and four times four. The next step is we list them in numerical order. One, two, four, eight, 16. Okay, now let's do 24. We know that's an even number, so two times 12 goes into 24. Three times eight is 24, and four times six is 24. Now we need to list them in order. One, two, three, four, six, eight, twelve, twenty-four. That one has a lot more. Let's look at our two lists. Now, what is the greatest common factor? I want the greatest number for this one. So the greatest number is eight. They have common factors of one, two, and four, but remember we have to find the greatest common factor. Okay, let's try that for question three. We're gonna do the same thing again. Stop the video if you wanna go ahead and try this on your own, and then watch me solve the problem after you do it on your own. 
Okay, we're trying to do the multiplication facts, remember, of 18 and 27. So we're skip counting 18, 36, 54, 27, 54, 81. Oh, I see a number they have in common. That would be 54. So I know the LCM would be 54. Okay, let's do the GCF here, the greatest common factor of 18 and 27. Remember, we're doing factors. So I have to go over here and plan that out. So if I have 18 and 27, I always start with one times 18 and one times 27. Those are the easy factors. This is an even number, so two times nine is 18, and three times six is 18. Now we need to put those in order. One, two, three, six, nine, 18. Okay, let's do 27. One times 27 and three times nine are factors. Let's listen to them in order here. One, three, nine, 27. Now in this list, I wanna look at a number that is the greatest. So the greatest common factor here is nine. That's our lesson for module two, lesson three for grade six.